Since the advent of the digital camera, the computers played a major role in how we organize our photos, share them with others, even make changes to them. So in this lesson, we're going to use Windows Explorer to help us stay organized and share our photos with others. We'll look at a couple of different ways to do that. I've already opened up the 0403 folder under Chapter 4 of the Exercise Files. So if you've got those files, you can go ahead and open them up if you'd like to follow along with me. Otherwise, just use your own pictures. The very first thing that I like to do when I download photos, maybe from a camera for example, is to add them to my pictures library. Right now if I go over to pictures in the navigation pane, you can see I've got nothing under my pictures. I've got those sample pictures that come with the Windows 7 installation. But wouldn't it be nice if I could access that folder we just looked at here from my pictures library as well. So we're going to go back, click the back button up here at the top left. And here is the folder, the 0403 folder that we want to include in the library. So we click the Include in Library button and choose Pictures. Now all we have to do is go to one location, Pictures, to see all of our images including the free samples and the newly added folder. There it is right there. Now staying organized means rearranging how we view our images as well. And we can use a couple of different systems for organizing those photos. Let's start by going to the top right where we see by default everything we're looking at is arranged by folder. But we can change that. We'll click the folder button and choose month. Now you're going to see all of the images in the pictures library. Not just the folder we added but the sample pictures as well. You can see they're all arranged here by the actual month. So for example, if I go to February 2008 and I select it, you'll see some information down below. There's five in that particular section and I'll double click now to see them. And you'll actually see more specific dates in February. And we can use the back button to go back or if you prefer just simply click pictures in the pictures library. Let's use another option here. We'll click where it says month and choose rating. One thing you can do in Windows Explorer is rate your photos. Give them a star rating. And here you can see each of our sample pics actually uses a star rating. As we scroll a little further down, there's a number of unspecified images. Guess what? They're the ones we just added. So how do we add a rating so we can group them by their ratings? For example, if all of our favorites have a five star rating, how do we apply the five stars? Well, first we need to select the images we want to apply the rating to. If it's a single image, we just click once. We'll choose this sepia surf one. And down below we see information in Windows Explorer. The rating over here has up to five stars and none of them appear to be highlighted. So if we go to the fifth star, just hover over it, you can see they all turn yellow. Click once. That applies the rating. We need to save that. Click the Save button and it moves from the unspecified group up to our five star section. And we can do that to multiple images as well. Let's say there's a few in here like we'll click the first one which is called California Cool. Hold down your Shift key and go all the way over to the giraffe. Everything gets selected in between. To select individuals we hold down Control like the otters and let's select the underpass here. There we go. With those selected we can do the exact same thing. Move down below. If these are five star ratings we click the fifth star and click Save. It may take a moment for each of those to move up into the five star section. And when we scroll up we'll see that they've been added and removed from the unspecified section. Let's say the rest of these are three stars so we'll click the first one, hold down shift, click the last one to select them all and choose the third star and click save. Now we're not going to have any that are actually unspecified. Once they're all moved into the appropriate section you can see at the bottom three stars is our lowest rating. So just another way to help you stay organized. Another option is to use tags. Let's just select one of our animals. I'm going to select the giraffe. Down below you can see tags. I've got add a tag right here. When I hover over add a tag there's a little field. I can click inside there. And all I have to do is type in the tag. I'm going to type in animal. And when I click save it's been tagged as an animal image. I can use tags to organize my images. So let's select some other animal images. Use control on your keyboard. Hold that down as you select some of the other animals. Now they could be from different groups. I'm going to go to my penguin here. I've already got the giraffe. I've selected the otter. Same thing. Go down to add a tag. Click once inside and type animal. Notice that it's already there as an option because we created so we can click the checkbox and click save. Just saves us a little bit of time. 
Now we can arrange these by their tags. So if we go here and select tag, we're going to see unspecified and animal images. So double clicking animal opens up all of our images that are tagged as animals. Simple as that. Now what about sharing our images? Let's go back to pictures to see them all and change the way we view them. Let's go back to folder. Let's say we want to share some of our own photos down below here with other people. Well, you'll notice right at the top there is a share with option here. Let's select one image, California Cool. If we go up to share with, you'll notice that the options are nobody or if we've created a home group, which is a network, and we will be talking about creating home groups later on in this title, we can choose an actual home group and give permissions to read or view them or even make changes to them with read write. Or we can choose specific people, and in this case it's going to be people who have user accounts and you can see I've got the option also to create a new user at the bottom or just choose everyone. I'm going to choose the other user, Karen, click add and click share. So now when Karen logs in she's going to be able to view my single photo here. I could also email her a notification that this just happened. I'm going to click done. That is another option that is to email images. Let's go to sepia surf for example and you'll notice up at the top on the toolbar here, we've got File, Edit, View, and Tools. If we go to File and scroll down, we've got Share With here. So these are the same Share With options we saw using the button on the toolbar. But a little further down, we've also got Send To. So we can send it to a folder, to our desktop. There's Fax Recipient if you've got your computer hooked up to be used as a fax. And there's Mail Recipient as well. Select Mail Recipient. Your default email application will launch the image or images will automatically be attached and you just have to send out the email. Simple as that. I'm not going to do that right now. We'll just deselect. So with Windows Explorer you have a number of different options for keeping your photos organized and for sharing them with others. There is another feature known as the Windows Live Photo Gallery that gives you many, many more options for staying organized and sharing. We'll be talking about that much later on in this title.